Ready, set, ignite. Get ready to turn up the heat with the many uses of a gas torch, also known as a butane torch. But before I show you just some of my favorite practical uses, for those that don't know, let's start with the basics of what is a butane gas torch? Well, a gas torch like this grip butane torch is by definition a compact delivery system that creates a flame that burns extremely hot while also being very precise, which is why a gas torch is such a versatile tool. Out of the box and due to transportation regulations, this grip butane torch is not supplied with gas. However, filling it is easy using an aerosol lighter fluid. First things first, ensure that the gas control knob is turned to the off position. Then hold the gas torch upside down. Then press the aerosol cans nozzle into the gas refilling valve. There we go. Once filled, allow the gas to stabilize for a few minutes before using it. As you saw, filling it literally takes two to three seconds. To light the torch, rotate the safety lock ring to the left. That's the on position. When the safety lock ring is in the off position, the ignition button remains locked, even if the gas control knob is turned on or fully to the left. Next, rotate the gas control to the left. And you can hear the gas flowing. Then push the ignition button and we have ignition. Now adjusting the flame intensity is done by changing the ratio of fuel or gas to air. We can adjust the flame by turning the gas control knob for more or less fuel and by adjusting the air control ring. The flame intensity is impacted. This thin conical blue flame is an efficient burn, giving you maximum heat output. Closing the air hole results in a softer, yellow and less intense, dirty, inefficient burn or flame. So what DIY can you use a gas torch for? <laughs> Grandma's old curtain pelmet. Now, one of my favorite uses for a butane torch is stripping paint. The torch's intense flame reaching in excess of 1000 degrees Celsius effectively lifts layers of paint, saving you time and effort. Hold the lid torch approximately 15 centimeters away from the painted surface and move it side to side. You'll see the paint will start to lift and bubble and you can now effortlessly scrape it off using a paint scraper. Heat, scrape, heat, scrape and repeat until you get the right results. A butane torch is also great for soldering or joining copper pipes copper pipe is heated with the gas torch until it reaches a temperature where the flux liquefies and the solder material can melt and flow in between the gaps between the copper pipes which then solidifies when cooled forming a tightly fitted leak proof joint and if paint stripping and plumbing jobs aren't enough a butane torch can also be used to heat shrink electrical connections Simply adjust the flame intensity to a cooler yellow flame for precise and consistent heat application. The result, a durable and securely insulated electrical connection. But perhaps one of the most underrated roles of the butane torch is to clean metal tools. Sticky adhesives, old paint or dirt easily burn off. But don't get too close as you simply want to heat the grime and not warm up the metal itself. Apply heat, wait for it to cool down, give it a dab of Q20 and give it a good clean with steel wool, give it a good wipe with the rag. This will have your tools looking a lot better than they were before. Now these are just some of the practical uses for a butane gas torch in the workshop. But what about the kitchen? Turn up the heat, take your cooking skills to the next level with a gas torch where precision meets power. Now you don't have to be a maestro chef to use a butane gas torch in the kitchen. Anyone can do it. 
and I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to add a professional finish to your dishes. When using a butane gas blowtorch in the kitchen, you want to ensure that by adjusting the air mix to have a blue flame. A blue flame on the torch indicates that the gas is combusting completely and efficiently without generating carbon monoxide, which we don't want when working with food. One of my favorite go-to lunches is an open ham and cheese sandwich. So let's see if I can pimp the sandwich by melting the cheese with the torch. It looks easy enough and doesn't need any electricity. Place the assembled sandwich on a heat resistant surface and while holding the torch a few centimeters away from the cheese, move the flame in a slow and even motion, ensuring the cheese melts uniformly without burning. Oof, just look at that cheese bubbling. And the great thing about this method is that you have complete control over how much you want to melt the cheese without the risk of burning it as well, unless if you like it like that. Here's a kitchen hack for peeling tomatoes and peppers. Again, safety first. So pop your peppers and tomatoes on a heat resistant surface. Grab your torch, turn it on, then hold the torch a few centimeters away from the skin and then move the flame over the skin until they blister and char. Keep rotating the tomatoes and peppers to get an even char on the skin. Then let them cool down or pop them into a bowl of ice water. And then watch, <laughs> the skin is really peeling off without any mess or fuss. Now you can also leave the skin on the peppers and then blend them in soups, sauces or dips to get that smoky flavor. Time to sweeten things up with dessert, and I'm talking meringues and the creme brulees. Using a butane torch to brown the meringue on the individual lemon meringue pies is both fun and quick. Once you've piped or spread the meringue over your individual pies, gently wave the torch back and forth across the surface until the peaks turn golden brown, giving the meringue a slightly crisp texture on the outside while remaining soft and fluffy on the inside. Now for a classic creme brulee, sprinkle an even layer of sugar over chilled custard before using the butane gas torch to melt the sugar. Taking care not to burn the sugar, giving you that perfect crack when you tap into it with a spoon. Now we all know that cooking isn't just limited to the kitchen. Let's take this torch outside. Say goodbye to battling in the wind, trying to light a fire. The intense focused flame of a butane gas torch will help start a fire quickly and efficiently. Simply direct the torch at the base of your charcoal or wood pile, aiming it at the most sheltered spots that you can find. Ignite the torch and hold it steady allowing the concentrated heat to penetrate and ignite the fire lighters or kindling. The continuous high temperature flame ensures that your fire catches rapidly, even in challenging weather conditions, as butane gas cuts through the wind, maintaining flame strength and precision. From DIYs to cooking, your perfect tools and gadgets are all available at Builders either in store or online at builders.co.za. For more videos like this, check out the blog on the website. It's due day for turning up the heat and lighting that creativity flame with a butane torch. Get to Builders, get it done.